Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Conti Crusade on the sixth season here, where we're going to be seeing what we can do this year. So quickly, I haven't actually gone through this before in the last recent episodes or anything, so we'll quickly look at the Europa League, because now we're sort of pushing for that sort of area. May as well have a look, see what teams have done. But really, um, England have done really well. Uh, Man City have won the Europa League twice, Chelsea have won it once, Milan has won it, and Moscow has won it. So they've done really well in the Europa League so far. Champions League wise, again, it's been Barcelona, normal team you expect, Bayern Munich, another team you expect. But then you got a double by United and Chelsea. And you see that Arsenal and Tottenham have all been in the final as well. So it's been heavily dominated by English teams this, this save so far. And let's see if we can continue that trend with Coventry. So quickly, before we get into the game, as you'll see, we're on the 20th of July. So you'll be wondering why we're back this little bit early. If we just go through here. We're actually playing Rangers today, which I'll show you in just a minute. Because if I want to get the league table, if I can find the damn thing. Go back to last season. We finished, no, we finished eighth. Yet somehow we got a Europa League qualifying spot. I don't know what happened. I've gone through different areas, sort of trying to work out why we've got it. I'm assuming it's because the FA Cup was contested between Man, the Man City who contested it. Was it Man United that contested it um, last season? I oh, know they won the Europa League final. That's probably why we came into it. So where what was the FA Cup final? Because I can't remember who won that. I think it was United last season. Yes, they beat Liverpool, who finished below us anyway. It must have been the Europa League final because it came in after I showed you our budget for um, this season, which we'll actually go through some of the players I've brought in so far because we're here and they're ones. We've had quite a few go out. Most noticeably, um, Kim Won Ye. I really, really, really wanted to keep him, yet he kicked up a fast, caused major issues, and it was right, I can't deal with this. We got him for 750k watt in the 2019-2020 season, and it's what, two seasons later, he played half a season for us, and we sold him for 32 million up front, up to 46. I said that's a pretty damn good deal to me. And I'm just I got him on my shortlist so I can keep an eye on him. If he get, ever gets unhappy, we can try and bring him back. But I didn't really want to sell him at all. We then moved on. He was one of the latest when we moved on. We moved on Murphy, M. Martino, Gray, Nietzsche, Kuaku, Harrison, O'Connell, Robinson, Turnbull, Fabio. Then we just released a few players, just contracts running out. And then it's just standard loan players or youngsters going out to get first-team football. Effectively, a lot of them left due to high wages. Fabio was on about 30 grand a week. O'Connell was on about 28, 29, something like that. So it's like, right, we'll move them out, get them out, get some players in who are going to do a good job for us. So starting off at the top is Dave Smith, a player I had pre-arranged deal already. I sent him straight out on loan. He looked quite decent centre-back. I'm definitely looking like he can grow into a good one for the next few years. At six foot four, he's got the um, height to be reckoned with. He can improve some of his technicals even better. So he's out at Huddersfield on loan, getting first team football there. I'll leave um, Stokes for a minute. We then brought in two free transfers who I was looking at. The first one being Albert, who looks like an sexual centre midfielder, hung Hungarian. He's possibly going to go out on loan at the minute, but. Looks like he's an excellent player and definitely going to do a good job when he does come into the first team. Who else? Lewis Farrier. He's in the first team. He looks excellent for 20. Yes, 20. He valued at 11 and a half minutes and got one for three. We're not going to argue this. Best, especially picking up three deals like this and then sending him on for stupid fees. I'm all happy for. And looks like he's an excellent player. Some very good stats. He was playing for some um, Boa Vista in Portugal. Did quite well. Five goals, five assists in 34 games last year. Again, very good player. So hopefully he's going to slot in well to us. So 
we're going to start at the right back role where I needed a decent right back. So I went for, I'm not even going to try that first name, Navarro. Looks excellent, very good youngster, 22. He was him or another Spaniard, um, Morales, who didn't want to come. His release fee was about 38 million, I believe it was. His was only 12 and a quarter, so it's like either in the door, he's pretty good. About the same sort of potential and ability, so it's like who to get in, and we went for him. So then I wanted to strengthen centre back. We brought in Daniel Boa Ungier. Just look at that face, he's just. Can you can we zoom in? Yes. He's just one of those centre back faces that you don't mess with him or you're going to be flattened. He's got solid um, physicals, his mentals are pretty good, his technicals can be better, but he's only 19, so he's going to go going, only going to improve. So he's going to be in and around the first team. The next one was another big signing in Antonia Lemercia. Lemercia? Looks an exceptional um, striker. I'm going to be playing him as a left winger or right winger, but as an inside forward. Once he's back from his injury, he's got a sports on here at the minute, and he's going to be cutting in, same as what David does on the other side, but on the right. Simply looks like he can be that main man there. And the big deal in terms of money is Joe Stokes, excellent, excellent Irish player. Looks statistically, I'll get the words out right in a minute. Excellent. Uh, physicals, marvellous. Mentals, by far excellent. Fin technicals, outrageous. Finishing, composure, off the ball, determination, work rate could be better. But all the ones I like to see in a striker are top notch. He's quick, he's strong-ish, he's got the pace, he's got natural fitness, he's going to be running for days up front and causing so many problems. He actually only played in the championship, so it's a step up, but I feel it's a step up he can make. With having David on the left, why is my phone going mad? My phone's just gone ballistic, buzzing away. Um, yeah, but he's got the ability to do it, and my phone's still going. I'm going to throw it across the room in a minute. But excellent player to bring in, and he's going to contribute to the homegrown rule. With now being in the Europa League, because we've got that spot, we needed some English and UK based players. So it's like, right, we needed someone to come in and he's going to be one of them to do it. So as you see, we've got Rangers in today's episode and we're going to be doing both legs. The first one here, the next one is about a week later. So I'll just skip the middle game and I'll come back straight to that one. So let's get into this and see how we get on. These first team players... Um, right, Faria, you can play out there. It's right only. Yeah. Um, right. Navarro, Tornado, Reckitt, Kloos, Brinkup, Gale, Brunskill, David, Stokes. We've got a few new injuries. Boss is out for three weeks for Hernia. He's on international and he's on register because I couldn't register him for some reason. So we've only got four players on the bench. Which hopefully by the time it comes, if we get, should get through hopefully, we'll be able to um, sort this out. So what's Hocker here? Is he right footed only? Damn. That's the only issue, all my strikers are right footed apart from La Marcia, who <laughs> isn't playing. So let's get going. I didn't see their team. They've got um, Fodringham, Travenir, Fazio, Wilson, Halliday, Tanzi, Crooks, Wilson, Holt, Fuchs, Dudu, Dodu, Donayan. I probably butchered his name, sorry, mate. <laughs> And yeah, so let's get in and see what they can do. I've decided to stick with Perez in goal, mainly because I didn't want to spend stupid money on a goalkeeper when I've got a goalkeeper who is good for the future and definitely one I want to give first-team football to. As I say, we're coming forward. We're, we've also got two other tactics, depending on what players are available as well, which we can drift in and out to, so... 
we'll see what happens as the season goes on. I'm lucky he's just gonna All right, they've just got a penalty. Well, I just saw the flashing up of offside, so I assumed it was an issue. I wasn't bothering commentating, yet they got a penalty somehow. Right, okay, that's not the start we wanted. Can Perez have a good start to this season? Oh, we almost get there. So close. Right, that's a little bit dis disappointing to go 1-0 down already. Send that's their only chance. They come forward, throw a free kick, and they've drawn a foul somehow. And really disappointing with that. Really disappointing with that? Really disappointed with that. How close does Perez get? <laughs> Runs over to it, then falls over the top of it. So, right, okay. Logical. Can we now come back and get back in this long ball over the top? Fazio heads it, Britain cut, bronze gill. Klaus has got some space. Can you find a good ball? Yeah, he knocks down to David. Um, with his form last year, he was expecting that to bulge in the back of the net. We've got the ball on the edge on the edge of the box, it's not. Navarro inside the gale. Brunskill over the top of David, who almost wins it, but Trevenir claims it. Long ball forward to Fuchs. It's gonna stay in notice it's gone out. Luckily we're really dominating the game, just not um actually seeing much of it. Farrier into Brunskill. Over the top for Stokes. Where's he going? Pulls it back over the top looking there. No one was in the middle to even help him. Trevenir, what is he playing? Because he seems to be... Uh, right, can we run the back? Go tackle, bronze skill. Long ball at the top. David's in behind. He's bursting forward. Can you pull it back? No. He kind of gives it Stoke. Stoke scores on his debut for the club. And hits his first goal in the red st strip tonight. <laughs> but... Lovely move by David, running down the line, just, I thought he'd overcomplicated it there, but he passes it back to Stokes, who's right foot shot, hits in between David and Travenir to equal us up. Right, our defence is not playing well, so we're going to have some very big um, issues with them if they don't step up their game. So we're telling them we're not happy. First hard up the second half. Brunskill's got it from our throwing. Gale up to Stokes. Does well into David. He shoots. Oh, what a move. Don't tell me he's offside. Oh, David was offside. What a move that was. Especially the turn from Stokes and playing the ball through the gap. Let's so say we've got a corner now. Farrier's on the edge of the box as well. Tries to cut it back inside. But Britain cuts there. Klaus over the top. Nowhere near. It's gone out, down to Tornado. Gale. Farrier through the gap. Bronze kill out to Navarro. Can you put a decent ball in? He can. Stokes nods it down to Farrier. And what a goal for him as well. On his debut for the club. And that's two new signings. Or three new signings there. Um, linking up well. Navarro with the cross in. On his left foot as well. Stokes nods it down to Farrier. Who just plays it across goal into the bottom corner. What a move by three new signings. Navarro, Faria, Stokes. And coming forward again, Bronze Guild, Britain Cut, over the top for, almost over the top for David. They play it for Rackett, claims it down the line for Farrier. He's got almost got the legs to get there, but has dropped the gale. Where's he going? Back to Farrier. Into the box. All Fodderingham comes out and claims it easily. 
And we're effectively, we're really dominating this game. We're just not putting away apparently the chances we are getting. We've got the two goal lead already, but anything can happen. As I say, they're coming through again. Wilson shoots. Oh, lucky you put that past the post. Right, who's coming off? Rackham's coming off a Hadjik. And Gale is doing better, so he's coming off for... No, switch those to back around. Right, we're coming forward again. We've made some subs. Brunskill, can he play a good ball through the gap? No, he goes for the long-distance shot and puts it over the bar. That's not the sort of thing I was expecting from him. He's not having the best of games, honestly. And with having only limited subs, there's not a lot I can really do. So as I say, they're coming forward. Um, Gale wins the ball. And Campbell, long ball up. Stokes has... The skill to get away from him. He's running down the line. Bursting into the box. Oh, back post. Oh, and David's put it over the top. How did David not score that? Right, let's make our last sub. We're going to push Stokes back there. We're going to bring Hocker Hin on and switch him and David's around. Right, do that. They got a free kick, long way out, hits our wall. Can we win the ball off them? No, they've gone to Wilson, into Dodo. Where's he going? Long shot. Oh, I thought they were going to drift in then. And if they'd taken the second goal, I wouldn't have felt they deserved it. Probably the last highlight, two minutes, about ten seconds to go. Don't give away a penalty, don't let him score. Good tackle, good block. Navarro clears it. Yes, we take the 2-1 win against Rangers. Right, let's just tell him we're happy. Do blah, blah, blah. I'm going to jump forward to the next game. And I will see you in a moment, guys.
Right guys, we've gone pretty much exactly the same team as before due to the same issues I was having before with the um, players being out injured. And they've gone with a slightly different formation. They've gone for a 4-4-1-1. And it looks like the same team. Devlin's playing this time. Dodo's on the right rather than the top. Tansy, Crooks, Halliday, Holt and Zudin. So I don't recognise a few of those names, but let's go out there and give them a performance. We're at home and see what we can do here and hopefully be able to progress through to the next round of the Europa League draw and does, I don't know if that gets us into the um, actual group stages or not we'll find out after this got a free kick play it through for the Gasper Stokes he scores on his home debut and he is going to be phenomenal this year, I reckon. So him and him and Boss swinging it around with David on the left. You got um, I can't think of his name on the right. Um, the master when he's back, but Stokes just slots that in coolly front post. And already two games, two goals for the lad. Coming up to half time, we've just had them take a goal kick, a free kick from the corner and play it around nicely in the middle, holding them off well. They're sitting quite deep. Gale does well to get their Stokes, gets tackled by Fazio, but Gale wins it back. Farrier puts it through the Stokes again. Can he get a second? He can. What a finish by the lad. And I can't believe we. Okay, we had to spend money on him, but he looks like he's going to be a star in the making for us. He gets tackled, gets up, he makes that run in the gap and he just slots it home. What a finish. And we're sealing our place into the next round of the Europa League. If we have a good Europa, Europa League run and a good league season, I'd be quite happy. I'd like to get higher than 8th and actually guarantee Europa League place via an actual league position rather than um, going through by a team winning a, another competition First title of the second half, and it's thrown right in the corner as we score a third goal, and that really puts it beyond. Um, Rangers are basically to come back into this. They're playing defensive anyway, but then really nothing's going to happen now. We've done really well. Stokes just plays the ball through the gap. Bronze kills in the middle, unmarked. Um, confuses the keeper and plays at the other side of him. Good show. And it's coming up 91st minute, and that's probably going to be about it. They're coming for one last attack, maybe. No, they've gone all the way backwards. And that's it. There's literally been three highlights, and that was the three goals in this. And that was it. So, a nice quick second game, just to guarantee our place in the next round. So, let's get back to the main screen and see what we've got. We get 86k. Stokes is very happy. They got promoted as well, so they got. Um, 30 odd million in the bank thanks to us and where where is everyone predicted to finish we're still predicted to finish in 16th which is mad forest wolves norwich all came up which is expected to go down 
Well, we're hitting above our weight, whatever we're doing, because we've been expected to be in the relegation zone or battling relegation for the last three, two years we've been up here. So we're doing well to stay out of that completely. Right, we've got Europa League playoff draw. Let's go to that and see what that puts us. Here's a player I'm scouting at Mainz. He's got no interest in joining. Like a lot of players, which is a little bit um, annoying. And I've noticed that um, Monaco have been interested in a hell of a lot of players. Yes, you can go online one on there. Europa League playoff draw. So that's where are we? We're group two seeded team. Right, let's just automatically draw and see where we come out because I've no idea which bit this means we go into if we go from here or who we get. Austria Vine, no. Well, I don't know which way the group seeds go for us to get drawn into, so I couldn't even predict who we're going to get. I'm assuming it will probably be a group two unseeded team, but my logic of the group stage, not the group stage, the playoff stages of the Europa League aren't that good at the minute. Say so we're coming through with nowhere to be seen yet do 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 I will play the Europa League music but I'll hit, get hit with copyright of us can we chop chop um, I, we haven't come out and I've missed it but no we're still there no we're there we're there oh we're there Nope, we missed them. I don't know there, we'll take them. Nope. Gochmanberg got there. Midland, don't really want Midland. Good, we missed them, Braga. We're at home first against Toulouse. Okay, where are they? Why do I do that? This is probably best. They've 7th, seventh, 8th, seventh, 3rd. Pretty good um, French team at the minute. So let's just draw all the rest of the teams. It makes no difference now. So when does that come in then? When do we play that those games? I reckon instead of doing both of them, we're going to come back to the second against lose and the game against Wolves as well. Do a double header. So guys, if I click on the no, no, if I click on the right button, if you've enjoyed, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next episode for the double header against Toulouse and Wolves, so thank you for watching.